Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the NX EIC202 Ethernet IP coupler to the SysMac NJ using SysMac Studio. The hardware I have consists of an NJ controller along with an NX EIC202 Ethernet IP coupler. I've opened up SysMac Studio and I'll select the Ethernet IP slave terminal and click on create. I'll select the NX Ethernet IP coupler from the configuration and setup and plug in my USB cable from my PC to the Ethernet IP coupler and go online with the coupler. I'll right mouse click on the coupler, compare and merge, and click on apply, and then OK. I'll right mouse click and transfer the actual I.O. configuration of the coupler and then go offline. I'll right mouse click, select display I.O. allocation. I'll notice that my I.O. allocation is 4 bytes in and 2 bytes out. I'll now insert an NJ301 controller and click OK. Now I'll go to programming and set up some global variables. I'll set up 32 inputs creating an array, 0 to 31, a network publish input. Now I'll set up my NX outputs, and there's 2 bytes or 16 bits, and I'll network publish as outputs. I'll go to Tools, Ethernet IP Connection Setting, double click on the NJ, Go to my toolbox, right mouse click, see display EDS file. This is where I could add new devices. I'll select the NX EIC202, put in the IP address of my Ethernet IP slave, set to revision 1, and click on add. I'll drag this now to the connection setting, and now I'll add my target variable. It'll be instance 100 for my input and instance 148 for my output. I'll change my byte size to 4 bytes for the input and verify my in output is 2 bytes. I'll go to the tag set, create a new tag set called inputs. And then I'll right mouse click and then I'll add a new tag and I'll select the NX inputs and then I'll do the same for the outputs. Create a new tag set called Outputs, and then I'll right mouse click, and I'll select the NX Outputs. And now I'll plug in my USB cable from my PC to my NJ, and I'll go online. First I'll change my RPI to 10 milliseconds, going online, and now I'll transfer this Ethernet IP configuration to the controller. Now I'm done. Now I'll synchronize and I will transfer the global variables and the program to the controller. I'm done there. I'll open up my watch window and in the watch window I'll add my outputs because I can force those on and I can see the LEDs then turn on as well. I've got 16 outputs so 0 to 15, and I'll force the first 4 on, and my LEDs come on. 